What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. My name is Gregson and welcome back to Shifting Lanes. Today, as you can see behind me, I have the newest edition, the Volvo V70R manual. And we're gonna take today to walk around this car and check out everything that's wrong with it. But first, I wanted to let you know that we've already done something to it and it looks so much better. So before we start talking about the car, I wanted to talk to you about where we are first. It is Blue Sky Performance and Restoration. Go check them out on Instagram. It's Blue Sky Performance Jesse and Blue Sky Performance Jeff. Jesse and Jeff are the two co-owners. I went to high school with both of them and they run a performance and restoration shop here in Budling, New Jersey. They restore everything. I mean, behind me is a Corvette ZR1. We've got a Shelby Camaro. We've got uh, another Corvette up here. We've got my Subaru. They, they've done or they they're going to do our volvos that's our old one that is now for sale we have our new one here uh and they just have such cool uh amounts of of, of cars and going on and everything that's going on at the shop there's actually an m3 uh an e92 m3 in the shop right now up on the lift so yeah they do anything you want they're always up for a new challenge go check them out if you want your car restored or performance oriented anything like they rebuild engines, they tune, they do everything, anything you need, they will make sure it happens. I will drop both of their Instagram links as well as the website link in the description below. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you see, go hit the subscribe button and also hit the little bell icon next to it to get all of our notifications. And when you do that, hit all notifications. If you don't do that, you won't get everything and you won't see all of our videos. So if you do that, you'll see everything that we do as soon as we publish it on YouTube. And thank you so much for watching. Now, now, let's go check out everything that's wrong with this car, as well as these really cool new wheels. All right, first things first, look at these really ridiculously cool wheels. I'm so stoked. I love these wheels. They are awesome looking. What you're looking at is five spoke, 18 inch Advanti Rain wheels. Now that's R-E-I-N, like the reign of a king, because these wheels are awesome and they rain the roads i don't know why they named them that way but they look super super good they are sitting on michelin pilot sport 4s tires this is the updated tire to the michelin pilot super sports and the summer tires for my subaru actually are pilot super sports i've taken this thing for a really quick drive down the road and just in that i really can feel a difference this thing is amazing i hugely recommend these tires and they're not even a sponsor we bought these clear and free it's all our money that we put into it. So yeah, go check them out. They're amazing tires. The wheels look so good. I think it's gonna be really nice to drive around uh, in the summer with this kind of setup, uh, especially with how good the ride quality is. Another thing about these wheels is we got these wheels from Viva Performance. Uh, they helped us out with pricing. Um, if you want to go check out all of their offerings, check the description below. They are amazing. I worked with Connor over there and they are just some of the best people in the Volvo community to work with. So go check out Viva Performance. Uh, we love you guys and you guys absolutely rock. We're definitely going to be working with them in the future on things on this car, maybe even the upgraded clutch and flywheel. Without further ado, let's take a quick walk around this car and see exactly what's wrong cosmetically as well as take a look at the engine bay and see what's going on inside. So the front of the car has really kind of one issue. There is a lip kind of down there. The lip of the, the front lip is a little droopy. Uh, the same thing happened with our old one, but uh, it's really not that big of a problem. It doesn't scrape anywhere and the fix is pretty easy. You can either zip tie it up or you can heat it up and reform it a little bit. So nothing crazy. Um, yeah, it is. It is really good up front here. It's not a ton, there's not a ton going on. Oh, hey guys. The uh, hood is in really good shape. There's not a ton going on here. There are no dents. There's nothing that I can see. It is a little dirty, so we need to clean it up. Can't, it's not really coming out on camera. What's really nice is we have the arms and the wipers here. That car does not. And uh, that's, that assembly is you know fully functional. This headlight needs a little bit of restoration. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's kind of pitted out. Uh, and there's a chip in it, but it's not in really that bad of shape. The rest of the front bumper is in excellent shape. We have both fog lights and both fog light assemblies fully entrenched. We had to actually replace them on the old car. The old car had no fog lights and no fog light grills either. So that was weird, uh, but we had that fully replaced on that car. And that's that. On the sides, 
This fender looks to be in good shape. There is a little bit of a paint weird thing going on right here. I'm not sure if you can see it. There it is. Uh, looks like a little worm like underneath there. There you can see it right there. This fender may have been repainted at some point, so I'm honestly not sure uh, what that means, but we will find out, of course. Uh, we have a little bit of a panel gap here that is looks a little bit too wide or a little wider than it should. So we're gonna have to take a look at that. Uh, if you come up top, some of this rubber, I mean, this is an old car and this happened on the other Volvo as well as many Volvos I've seen of this generation. This black rubber here has, is coming apart and we've got some bubbles here along the A-pillar, exterior A-pillar, where you have a bunch of bubbles in this black, but that's not really that huge of a deal. And we can also restore that. Uh, the plastics in this car look to be in really good shape, actually, so that is good. Um, this panel looks to be in excellent shape, and the rest of this side of the car really has no crazy visible dents. There's one here, and there's one here, so really not bad at all. The one thing that is a little concerning is this panel gap. As you can see, as it comes down the car here, it gets a little wider, and my whole finger can fit inside of it. So. That's not great. Maybe it's just rehung improperly, but we'll take this off and we'll get to the bottom of it. There's also this piece down here. Uh, it's kind of off and the wheel liner is detached from the actual wheel arch. So we'll have to look into that. Nothing really that concerning though. Uh, a little strange. The rear view mirror looks to be in really nice shape. Hi again. Interesting thing here, and this is kind of part of the car, we'll go on the inside in a minute, when this is sat out in the sun, this is actually very, very sticky because this was tinted improperly. And all of this, like you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but this is basically making finger marks and the finger marks are staying, not that they would be on glass. And you can probably hear it too. That's not a great sound. So uh, yeah, they tinted this improperly and this is actually a little bit adhesive. In the heat, we tried to roll down the window and all of this came with it. You can kind of see these weird markings. This is where the window basically stuck here. So we're gonna have to take the tint completely off this car and retint it, uh, if at all. So for those of you that like the fishbowl look, we may have the fishbowl look for a little while. Coming towards the back here, we've got another panel gap and this is coming right off. So we'll have to reclip this and take a look at what's inside. It looks like there is a screw right here that just needs to go up and in to this piece. And we can kind of reset it. It's not reset, it'll come right out. So we'll have to get that redone. Uh, the rest of this panel looks good. There aren't really anything, there's nothing really too concerning. Uh, we've got some scrapes in the paint, nothing really nuts. Uh, the frame rails up top here uh, for the actual roof rails, I'm sorry, not frame rails, roof rails look really good. And we have a roof rack on this one. We've got slick top over there and we've got the roof rails. I think this looks really cool. I like this. This is super stealthy dad wagon style. So I'm definitely going to leave these on. Uh, back of the car looks really good. We have a different type of plastic guard here. The old one has that plastic piece that kind of comes through this whole section. This is just on the bottom section here. And as you open up, it looks really good on the inside as well. Nothing crazy. And all of the seals and seams are in good shape. This one's a little coming apart, but I mean, even these, even these bolts, they, they're rusty, but they look to be in good shape. And all of these hinges look to be in super fantastic condition. So that is good news. Uh, the rest of this side on the other side. So this panel gap, this one seems to be in better shape. This is not coming apart. The gas cap, nice. The lock actually works. So that's good. Um, yeah, this side looks to be in better shape than the other side. And if we come up front, you can see, so this panel gap goes all the way down. My finger does not go in in any section. So yeah, that other side, definitely we're gonna need to look at that, but this side is in really good shape. That is really it on the exterior of this car. The exterior of this car is in pretty, pretty good condition. So with that said, let's take a look inside. 
as to what is going on. Oh, and just to show you these plastic trim pieces, they're in really good shape. They're coming apart or coming up a little bit, but that happens with these cars. Plastics look awesome. Trim looks decent. And the rubber on the inside here looks really good too. There's nothing coming apart. There's no rot, there's no cracking. Everything looks great all the way through and through. The inside is, needs a restoration for sure. The leather in this one is actually not as good as the one in our older car. Um, as far as the surfaces go, but the nice thing is there are no splits in this seam over here or in that seam or in that seam, but we'll get to that one on the other side of the car in a minute. Also, super sweet. We've got a secret compartment and I love that. That's such a cool little detail of this car. Um, we have the all other floor mats in here. Kick plates just need a good cleaning. They look awesome. This leather is cracked and it's in decent shape but we need to have it restored. We're going to probably have to shave this down a little bit, sand it, clean it up, and put some leather reek on there for some uh, interior restoration or get these professionally redone. Not sure which way we're gonna go with that yet, but we'll figure it out as we go along. And of course we have the legendary uh, Atacama interior. I hope I said that one right, guys. You called me out on it last time. Sounded like Atacama. I'm from Jersey. Hey, it's the Atacama interior. Uh, more all other floor mats in the back. BC Racing stickers, adds 20 wheel horsepower. Uh, if you guys want these, message me. I'm gonna give them away to you for free. Email us, contact at Shifting Lanes. Give me your address, first two people to do it, you get a BC Racing sticker, done, free of charge. Uh, the back seats look to be in better shape than the front seats, that's usually a pretty common trait in any car. There's a couple of little scratches here, nothing crazy. That can just be restored with a leather um, cleaning and restoration, uh, kind of moisturizing cream, which is nothing crazy. We have another cool and actually in really good condition cup holders in the back. And yeah, that's that. Nothing else to do with there. We've got more all other floor mats. The center looks good. Everything else looks to be in great shape. We have a 12 volt outlet back here too. So that's good and that works. Everything is fully functional in this car, which is also really, really nice. Yeah, the door cards also in good shape. Open the trunk, kind of showed you that before, but the mat looks to be really nice for its age. We've got our spare set of peg wheels with some winters on it. We're gonna redo these tires next winter um now we're inside and everything else looks to be in good order uh these wheels look so much better than the ones on the old car so that is a good sign as well the other side of the car again looks really good from a leather perspective the door cards are in phenomenal shape the plastics actually up here are also in phenomenal shape so really nothing crazy. Uh, also these silver trim pieces, there's no dings or dents. Now the last thing is the driver's side which has the most wear. Plastics down here need a little bit of a cleaning and maybe some scratch uh, repair. The, the kick plate in good shape. Door card, a little bit worse for wear. You can see it's starting to do that cracking thing that these leathers love to do. Uh, plastics up here look good, door handle is good. The seat, or actually, you know what, the all of the floor mat may need to be replaced. It looks to be, I mean, it's functional and everything, but it looks like crap. We'll get it cleaned up and we'll see if we need to replace it, but the seat itself, I mean, it's very dirty. You can kind of see over here, it's not really that attractive. We'll need to clean it up and see what kind of leather degradation we're working with, but here's the big thing. There was a split here at one point in time. So this is the original stitching here. You can see how it's nice and uniform. And then there was definitely a split here. It went all the way back to here. It came down the side. Actually, it didn't come down the, the lower side, but it definitely came down to the inside all the way over here. So this is a very large split that was redone. I'm actually okay with that. Once we clean it up and restore it a bit, we can have, it'll, we'll, it'll be able to We'll be able to see what we're working with, but this looks much better just like this. 
the whole goal of this car is to restore it to an OEM spec. And I'll talk about that in a minute at the end of the video as to what the goal is going to what the goal of this car is going to be. So, everything else in here looks really kind of decent and I'm going to hop in the back again and show you this. I don't know if this is OEM, but <laughs> we have a freaking DVD player in here. How sick is that? <laughs> it's so cool. It's a Sony and yeah. <laughs> I don't think this was stock. I don't know, honestly, if this was stock. Please let me know. Someone tell me. I'm super curious. This thing works. It <laughs> turned it on and it totally is fine, which is hilarious to me. Uh, the roof liner is not bad. This looks like a crack. It's not. It's just a crease. Um, there are definitely some places where it's kind of coming undone just a touch, but it's really nothing that you can't like re glue or redo. So, yeah, this is. Oh. Let's just put that back. You didn't see that. Everything else on this car looks to be in working order. Uh, it looks so good. I mean, look at how good that looks. I am absolutely in love with this car. I cannot wait to get this thing out on the road with these new wheels and tires and give you guys a proper first full drive. Um, let's take a quick look under the hood. All right, coming around. Pop it up, and there is the blue beauty. Underneath here, there is a little bit of an intercooler setup, and according to one comment, there was some kind of top mount on here. I don't know what you're talking about. It has stock airbox, it has, everything looks almost as, exactly the same as the old car, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna give you guys a quick look overview right now. If there's anything you see that I don't know about, please drop it in the comments below because this looks to be like a stock example to me. I know this might be an updated, not upgraded, but some up, up, upgraded or updated, sorry, uh, piping. There does not look to be too much corrosion anywhere, just your normal kind of corrosion that you'd find anywhere else, really. Uh, there's some seepage there you can see from the alternator. We'll have to take a look at that, or on the alternator, not from the alternator. Uh, turbo back down in there. We are gonna take the exhaust off soon, so we'll be able to get underneath and take a look at that. And yeah, that's, oh man, <laughs> it's one of the coolest looking engines I've ever seen. I love, I love the blue, I love the, like the hyper silver. Uh, the matte hyper silver in these engines so nothing honestly too concerning around here we showed you in the intro video bc racing coilovers you can go soft and hard and that is where they are and we have the adjustable wrench that you can kind of use to raise and lower outside of that there is not a ton else wrong um I'll put in some shots, actually we had this up on the lift the other day inside the shop. I'll put in some shots of the under tri or the underside of this car. Basically it has not a ton really that wrong with it underneath. Considering this was a Michigan and New York car, there's not that much rust. We looked at it, the frame looks good, the control arms look good, uh, the exhaust is definitely a little rusted but we'll be replacing that anyway. Uh, the back end looks good, uh, the subframe bushings look to be in pretty decent shape. So yeah, overall, you know, this was, this was definitely an excellent, excellent purchase. Uh, from a what's wrong standpoint. Now begins the task of what we're gonna do with this car. So let's talk about that really quick. And now that we've taken a walk around this car, we kinda know what we're gonna work with. So, a big question is, with the old car, and I'm pointing over there and gesturing because it's right next to me, what are we gonna do with this one? Well, we need to sell the M3. The old Volvo V70R, the automatic, as well as our M3 are up for sale. You can check out our last video. I'm not sure when this is gonna go out, Monday or Tuesday of next week. Uh, one of our last two videos was us announcing that we're going to sell both of those cars. So, um, I think we can safely say that the Volvo kind of won. I mean, I think so because I'm the Volvo owner, but uh, for the whole thing, if we tuned out the Volvo, dropped the suspension, really kind of got it to a place where, you know, you're pushing 300, 400 horsepower at the wheels, 
it would have beat the M3. The M3 is a sports car, and it feels like a sports car, and it's an awesome car. But no matter how much your stock sports car is, if you tune something, you're gonna end up eventually beating it. Uh, whether it's with power, with better handling. So eventually the Volvo would have won. So let's just say for argument's sake that the Volvo won the last thing and whatever, but I think we should take this in a bit of a new direction. I really would like to bring this car back to its OEM spec, uh, as close as humanly possible. That stitching kind of thing aside, I want this thing to return to its former glory. It's kind of the same thing we were gonna do with the old one, but uh, even more so because this, this particular car is so legendary for this color combo. It's so rare, that dark magic blue versus the Atacama interior. It's just, it looks so cool. It's one of the best looking wagons ever made. I think I'd go out on a limb and say the best looking wagon ever made. Maybe the old Volvo Amazon estate is up there too. The new V60 is up there too. I think that is an absolutely gorgeous car. And yeah, I mean, Volvo's just known for their wagons. They, they, they do a really good job. So with that said, I want to take this thing back to its former glory. I want to leave the interior at Atacama. Obviously, you know, we want to make sure that leather is pristine, tip top, all the plastics. I want to make sure that they're in good shape. Uh, I want to do an upgraded clutch and flywheel, make sure this thing is really mechanically sound and make this into the car it was in 2007, 2008. A little bit of wear and tear, but it still looks pristine, looks new, and you would still love it. So that's, that's it. I want to do that with this car. And when we get more project cars for Chad and Hanson, we can put this up against those in different capacities. So with that said, I think that that's a cool direction. I hope you guys think so too. And Blue Sky Performance and Automotive are gonna help us do that. They are going to take this car and do everything that we wanted and everything that they think they can do to make this happen. So with that being said, I hope you guys stick around for that and I hope you guys join in, join in the journey with us. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Uh, and as I said at the beginning, smash the like button if you did, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, click all, hit the bell notification icon, click all notifications and you'll see everything that we do on YouTube. I hope you liked this video. We have really cool announcements coming up soon for you. So stay tuned for that and I will catch you next time. See ya.